see what code it's set. Turn on the key. Hit the run button. Hit the run button. I gotta get down on my knees here. I'm gonna wait till it loads the maps. Sometimes it'll stall like that. You have to turn the bike back off and redo it. But it should be good. So what did you just click on? The DCCs. Oh, DTCs. Okay. Diagnostic. Uh, trouble codes. Trouble codes. Okay. Bad sights front. Bad sights rear. Front oxygen sensor malfunction, which if you got bad sights, it'll go do that. So we're going to clear the historic codes, okay? All right. Okay, so those are reset. So what we did is we installed uh, a new uh, map. No, I'm I'm talking about oh. the uh, controller. We had to I had to install a new controller. Yeah. And uh, the reason we're doing this is we installed a off-road map uh, box file, and uh, I rode it today for about 50 miles, and the red engine light came on. So Tom's going to merge the learned code to the base map so that it can continue without the red light on. Let's see where it says main fuel adaptive map merge. Okay. That's what we're going to do right now. Forming this function will modify the fuel maps. Yep. You don't ever want to do the cylinder trim. Cylinder trim? Yeah, don't mess with that. That's what they told me at s and Now what we'll do when this is done loading and, and it accepts it, So we have to download, pull back out of the box, this updated merged map? Well, what, what will happen is uh, after it all comes in, we'll clear the, the current codes. Mm -hmm. and then you have to shut the key off so that the box will accept the map. Okay. So now we're going to go back into the trouble codes. And you ECU box okay okay see now let's put them down no trouble codes right now it's down in historic and we're going to clear those historic codes just to make sure we're going to look which they're gone mm -hmm. so that's good to go until you ride it you know when yeah. you ride it it'll, it'll start it. learning again yes and then uh, uh, now I want to find the uh, RPMs. And I can't remember. Oops. ECU basic setup. There it is. So we're going to change this. So this is rev limiter soft cut. Yep. We're going to make it 10,000. Which camera? One. We're going to save that. What about the hard cut? Don't it will change it automatically. Oh. Whoops. Go look at it again and make sure it switched it. There you go. Okay, See, now that was under basic ECU setup yep, settings. Yep. All right. That's why I couldn't remember all you know, until I saw it. Yeah. But uh, you can change your, your shift light, 
shift light, you know, um, you can make your engine light your shift light. Mm -hmm. You know, all that stuff. It's it's pretty neat. We just want to cancel it because we know what it is. Yeah. So now all you got to do is turn your key off and let it let it do its thing. Got to leave it off for at least 20 seconds. Oh. Okay, so it does a reset? Yeah, so it will reset itself. It has to completely power down. And then when you turn it back on, it will pull that new map in there. If you wait, that thing when you start like this now, you won't be going up into the yellow. It will be going... <laughs> then it will get to the yellow. It's pretty bad. He says, well, be careful, though, after you do that. Come on. I mean, the RPM will still read yeah. correctly. Yeah, it reads correctly. It's just, There's you're, just you're, no, you're no, giving it more than what it had before. It doesn't change anything on the tack readout. No, no. It, it just knocks the limit up higher. And it, it lets lets the map go higher, too. Mm -hmm. Because before, it would cut out at 62.50. I rarely run it up that high anyways. Yeah, but sometimes when you're in that higher end of that, 5,000 or whatever it is, mm -hmm. it'll set codes because you don't have that extra in there. Okay. So that Hampton told me to change it, and like I said, Dave told me to, to keep it that way. So you know what I mean? Power the key on again? Mm-hmm. In the run? You want to look at it again? Is that what you want to do? No, I want to be able to save that merged base map now. And we'll save it as merge one. Just go to PC, hit PC. Because it hasn't really learned very much, you know. Well, enough to throw some error codes up. Right. But I just want to save each time I merge it. Yeah, just hit the PC there. I did. Okay. Just wait. Okay. It'll come up. Now, select what you want to put it in up here. Like desktop or whatever. You mean? No, hit the little arrow there. Here? Okay, now hit that, click on that. But that's saving in calibration. If I step it up, it'll just go into wherever I want to save it, right? Well, I, I changed this to desktop on mine, and then it saves it in the desktop. Huh, I can click desktop. I guess you can. Click that yeah. little arrow. Yeah. Okay, it was just, there it is. It's just reacting slow. Cause okay. It's, uh, well, I'm waiting for the timer to go away on the cursor. Once here. it says desktop. It is now, so. Then go down here and put the name of the file you want. As soon as I get control of it again. Come on. <laughs> okay, desktop. Okay. Now just click file on File name. Yep. And I'm going to take whatever. it, take this... Just type in whatever you want, merge one or whatever. I'm taking this name, and I'm going to go over to the far end where it says box, and I'm going to put dash, dash, merge First one. merge, yeah, or merge. Merge one. Okay. Okay, now save it. Just save it. And it'll automatically put it to the desktop after it saves it. 